crappy. Genuine forward carpet inserts. So what's the point in putting carpet on top of your rubber floors? guys so we have our 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Badlands edition um, and we uh we, yeah we take it off road and have a great time with it so today I want to talk about these rubber floor mats you can buy now these are specifically the ones from Ford I know there's some other companies out there that are you know working on making aftermarket sets but I wanted the, the set from Ford now there's another piece that goes to this in the driver's side but I already installed that the day I walked out of the dealership just to make sure they fit so why do I think these are important? Well, for starters, the Badlands edition is your off-road edition. This is your off-road edition and it comes with rubber floors. Not only does it come with rubber floors, but they give you crappy standard carpeting inserts. That's right. You get nice rubber floors for off-roading and then they give you Carpet inserts. Now, these are, again, genuine forward carpet inserts. <sighs> but why? I mean, the point of the, the rubber floors is for things like this. Mud, dirt, rocks. So what's the point in putting carpet on top of your rubber floors? Especially when you're going to do something like these neoprene seats. Which, again, mud, dirt, it all washes right off. And, and that's what we bought this whole Bronco Sport for, was to go off-road and have a good time. So let's talk about these inserts and the floors. So first off, your carpet and these rubber floor mats are uh, attached to these plastic inserts. Now, being an upholstery shop owner, I can tell you right now that these plastic inserts are not great. And uh, to make the whole situation worse, they were installed by an idiot. By that, I mean, well, you can't so much see it on this one. But you see... Uh, how it slides lefty right but not front to back so you know we usually do these with a hole punch you want it to be very accurate and they did not they uh on the ones on the driver's side i lifted it up and could see it and it's just big old slots in there they cut it probably with raised blade and it wasn't done well now this is something that most of you would never see or care about but here's the thing when you put these in or your carpet ones it doesn't really matter they're gonna clip into place and then when you take them out you need to be very careful you're almost gonna want to push down on this as you take it out so you don't tear your rubber floors apart because it's rubber and as soon as it starts to tear it's not gonna stop and that's the issue that's the issue with cutting it with a razor blade is you start the tear and you have a perfectly round circle there's no tear already started so you can pull kind of pull and tug on them and be kind of aggressive and they're not gonna get messed up as you can see, we got rid of the carpet inserts because, again, they're trash, or we're going to trash them when we go off-roading, and we've just been using the floor. No big deal. But, as you can see, it's dirty, and the one thing I can't do is easily clean it. I mean, I can, of course, I can get in there with a the shop back and a little spritz and shine, but these are nice, right? This, is, this means you can pull it right out and dump it on the ground and wash it, and we have these in about every other, or we had these in our other vehicles, and, they're, I mean, they're just great. But how do you insert them? Well, first off, and kind of confusing, is you see the way that it sits right now with the board Bronco Sport facing that way? That's the way it goes in the car. Now, my first instinct would say, okay, I'd want to read Bronco Sport, but that's not it. Luckily, this side has the one clip, and it's easy to see, and uh, yeah, it's right there. But we need to clean this out first, right? So I could get a shop vac, but let's be serious. All of you are not going to own a shop vac. So what's the easiest way to clean this out? Go get yourself a little brush. This one's just... You know, a little brush. And brush it to the front. Focus on this little piece. But, you know, it's a good time to get down in here and clean this up. Brush it all the way to the front. Then we're going to brush it to one corner. And now's when you're going to want to go get a little mini dustpan or a piece of paper. And we're going to sweep that all out. Now again, just because I don't know what all you guys own, something like a piece of paper you can kind of push flat against there and then use it as the dustpan. You don't have that much stuff here, right? So let's just set it on there, we're going to sweep it into there and get it out of here. 
and there we go make sure you get all your big rocks out of there i'm not gonna worry about uh you know the little spilled coffee and the dirt that's in there the big thing is getting all the rocks out because well that's what's gonna mess up your your rubber floors and your rubber mats now these are easy to install to a point you're just gonna slide that in there and you're gonna see that it's gonna be almost a perfect fit and then you're gonna line that buckle up you just want to press around the edges it snaps right in now the thing you're gonna have is a gap over here now one part of you is gonna tell you there's nothing you can do about that but as an upholstery shop owner I can tell you right now this material you can heat up very very slightly with a heat gun and relax this seam very slightly don't do it much if that bothers you otherwise just leave it alone don't think about it you know over time you're gonna set your foot in there and it's just gonna go away which kind of brings up the point of now that your new floor mats are in the car how should you treat them put your feet in the center push out a little bit you know again but if you put your foot over here over time that's gonna relax kind of just check your fit man I don't see any big gaps in there which is great now this little heat trick with a heat gun or a hair dryer or just simply turning the heat up in your vehicle is important for things like this. See how it came, uh, pulled it over. I mean, they don't really have a choice. They got to get it in the box, right? But you heat that up just a little bit, slowly, and it should start to pop back. But take your time. You don't want to mess it up, right? These aren't the cheapest product out there. I mean, for good reason. These are quality. Like, in all reality, these are, uh, they're quality. They're thick. They're very durable. The sides actually hold up. You know, just looking at this from, from a quality standpoint, the sides are actually holding up. As far as you push them down, they pop right back up. They're going to actually hold liquid. So, you know, say you do spill something like coffee or, you know, you're out you're out having a good time and you get back in with soaking wet feet or snow or whatever it is they're actually going to hold liquid and be able to get poured out so i mean these are nice these are definitely worth a buy i think actually i don't have a clue how much they are we paid for them with points but you know i do see them as being a very worth it product and they're nice i mean the little broncos on them are nice so yeah consider them